Howdy friends and welcome back to the channel. The video you're going to see today is actually a video that took me three days to film. So it might be a little longer than normal. I'm sorry about that. But it does cover three days of running an old vintage 8N Ford tractor for a couple of days mowing down some weeds around the farm. Well, yeah, that and maybe a few other things. So stay tuned and thank you for watching. And thank you for subscribing, and thank you to all the new subscribers. Good morning, everybody. Dave here with Nelson Craig Farm. It is a beautiful Thursday, the 27th of July, 2023. And I'm trying to get a few things done this morning before I have to go to the in-town job, yeah. So, first up today, Gonna run out and get some water out to that little pine tree because we're gonna be in the hundreds for the next day or so, or very high 90s. So, yeah, on we roll. I'll hook the hose up that we drain the water out of, out of the tank. We use the same hose, fill the tank up where you're sitting. Yeah, you've probably seen me do this before. Well, I'd say that's full about now. The big issue now is if Stinky will be able to lift that. Yeah, its hydraulics are a little weak. Now yeah, let's see if that'll pick that up. By golly, it's going to. Look at there. It did pick it up. That's a surprise to me. Okay, next up, I'm going to unhook the uh, carrying all platform that has the water barrel on it from Stinky, leave the platform in the barrel here to drain. I'm gonna run this up to the house and uh, hook onto the mower. Yeah, we got some mowing to do, but I probably won't get to it till later this afternoon or even tomorrow morning, yeah. There we go. Just a little bit of persuasion. Yeah. Say, did you all know that nobody in Athens wakes up before noon? Yeah. You want to know why? <laughs> Dawn's tough on Greece. <laughs> oh, it's a bad one. <laughs> Good Friday morning, everybody. It is the 28th of July, 2023. And as soon as we get done servicing Stinky here, putting some fuel in her, if I can get it in the hole, we're gonna go cutting some weeds. Yeah. Need a bigger can and longer spout. That's what every man says. <laughs>
you'd be amazed at the stuff I find out there in the weeds alongside the road. This is a uh, car rack uh, for the top of a car. It's probably off that vehicle that got wrecked last fall over at the uh, neighbors. Yeah. looks a lot better than it did uh, I'd mow along this uh, fence line here a little tighter but right there about where that uh, top rail shadow is for the fence there's a ditch that runs all the way down there and that sucker's got some water in it uh, from the overflow for the pond so that's gonna have to wait for another day however I do need to mow this side of the fence and that water from the overflow of the pond is running down through there so I'm liable to get stinky and the mower stuck so thank heavens, I've got a bigger tractor that can pull them out. Alrighty, well, let's see how far I can go before I get stuck. Well, there's the water. I found it already. Gotta love grass waterways. Gonna raise the mower deck up a bit. She's dead. Well, as you probably noticed, I didn't get very far down there. Uh, yeah, I ran into a nice big mud puddle. The tractor's uh, rear dry, uh, drive tire sunk right into the gopher holes that have made their way into there. And it just made a bottomless pit down there. So, yeah, I'm going to keep trying at this, and uh, but I'm going to do it off camera. Did you all hear about the three guys that were on a boat with four cigarettes between them? Yeah, they had nothing to light the cigarettes with, so they threw one overboard. That made the boat a cigarette lighter. <laughs> That's got to be a Pollock joke. <laughs> Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to the farm. I'm Dave with Nelson Creek Farm here in southern Idaho. And it is a beautiful, sunny Saturday, the 29th of July, 2023. We're going to do a few little projects today before I have to take off and go to the in-town job. Before we get any of that started though, we're going to go up and check on the water this morning. Yep, that's still running all right. Oh, look at all those silly little plumes floating away on the breeze, yeah. You see all that? Yeah, there's a story behind that. I was mowing along the trees here this afternoon, and uh, yeah, I got a pretty good chunk of it done, but I was clear down here at the far end and I found a big old chunk 
of concrete that had been dumped out. Yeah, I don't know where it came from. Uh, I got a sneaky hunch it might have been something I put down there and some dirt that I was building up down there that I dug up out of the uh, settling pond. Yeah, so I'm pretty well done uh, mowing until I can get the uh, mower flipped up and pull it apart and uh, see what's happened with the uh, blade. I've got one blade that doesn't spin out straight anymore. It's bent back and seems to be locked into that position. So I imagine you all were getting pretty tired of watching me mow anyway. Uh, just something needs to be done here at the farm because I'm not growing any crops uh, in the field. I started here in the west field mowing it too. But uh, yeah, I was making that turn down here to go back and hit that chunk of concrete. But I think I'm going to call it quits for today because you can see what's heading my way. Yeah. So I'm going to head back to the barn and uh, drop off the mower until I can get it fixed. Then I'm going to come back down here, pick up that water barrel, and haul it back up there. Yeah. Yeah, that big old black storm is heading right straight towards me, so probably a good thing I'm putting this stuff up for today and then I'll go in and edit this film and put it together for you. Alrighty, I got the uh, carrier platform hooked back up to Stinky here. We're all hooked up there and uh, the hose is wrapped up ready to go and the little pine tree looks like it's doing really well. Yeah, it's got a lot of new candles, the ends on the stems and it's greened up quite a little bit so that long deep soak of dribbling water right down there is doing pretty good for it. I had been given some serious thought to running a fence along the uh, east field here and on the west field and over on its perimeter there by the pine trees. So what I'm looking at thinking about doing is instead of a fence, I'm thinking about putting in hedgerows. Maybe something with some uh, stickers or thorns on it to uh, keep people from being so eager to access the property. Yeah. Just a little extra security for the place for the upcoming hard times that are definitely coming, I do think. So if you want to know more about what I'm doing to uh, prepare for those, watch our uh, midweek video and uh, check out uh, the uh, Facebook page, Nelson Creek Farm. we got stuff going on there too. And uh, yeah, I might even fire up an Instagram account yet. But anyway. We'll see about that later on. Years ago, I used to live in town when I first got hitched, and we decided we were going to do a home renovation project after watching this old house on PBS one Sunday afternoon. Well, it went fairly well until we found this secret room. Yeah, after we knocked down a wall, there it was, all furnished and nice and clean and everything. That's when we remembered we lived in a duplex. <laughs> Well, that's going to wrap it up for this edition from Nelson Creek Farms. Hope you enjoyed the last couple of days of the end of the week on some of the things I had to get done. Had an early shift Sunday, so I had to wrap everything up by Saturday morning before I went into the uh, in-town job. So, hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for subscribing. You can't miss it. Big red thing down there with white letters on it that says subscribe if you haven't done so. I would appreciate it if you would. And thank you to all the new subscribers we've picked up in the last couple of days. So, yeah, as always, leave a comment or a suggestion down in the comment section down below. Give me a thumbs up, thumbs down, and uh, that'll give me an idea of what you like and don't like. Anyway, I'm Farmer Dave wishing you well. Y'all have a good one and be careful out there. Bye-bye for now.